Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've been doing some more testing on speed teams using only three and two star creatures, and I've been experimenting with the cooldown re reduction mechanic and that sort of thing. This is the team that I've sort of come together with. It's not perfect yet, uh, but I have managed to get some fast runs with it. And in this video, I'm gonna go through this team, um, where I think I could improve on it, and also with better monsters, how the cooldown, cooldown reduction mechanic can actually be really good for speed runs. So firstly, we'll look at the uh, creatures. I'll leave some, some runs going um, down in the corner of the runs that I recorded. There was uh, some fast ones. There was, I think I'll put a fail in there, um, but then I'll go through a bit more about it, why I'm failing um, as I go on. But we'll look at the monsters first and just talk about them a little bit. Um, most of them I've already covered a lot, so I won't go through them too much. So it's more about the new guys. So we've got this water monk. He is, um, he's in there because the idea of this team is to have him for the attack buff and defense break for the big damage and then have the Water Holy Sister and the Wind Crusader there for the cooldown reduction so you can use those skills again more often. So he's got that uh, that last skill, the third skill, which is the attack buff and defense break, AOE, both of them on a four turn cooldown, which is really nice. His second skill is also pretty handy, um, has a 100% chance of stealing 30% of the enemy's attack bar. Uh, he'll normally use that against the the fire null on the boss stage, which is very handy, slows down the invincibility going on the boss. And his first skill is a 50% chance to um, increase the chance of the enemy getting a critical hit, or it could be a 50% chance to blind, which would be better in this case, but um, you get what you get. Uh, the next, basically with him, uh, I just wanted him fast because I want him to move first in the team, and that was the main point behind him. Everything else was the rest. I just made him tanky so he could survive. I'd love to have him more tanky. Um, uh, he's pretty decent at the moment for four star. If I five star him and got him really tanky, it would be better. Same with the Water Holy Sister and the Wind Crusader. Because in this team, we only have uh, the two single target heals. Um, we really want these guys to be as tanky as possible so that they don't need to use the heal on them themselves and they can prioritize it on maybe one of the DPS who gets hit low. Um, that's one of the problems in my team at the moment is that I don't have the best glyphs on them. I know, yes, they, they are some purples, but for what I should be using um, for these speed teams, I feel like my glyphs are a bit average and also the, the, those three support units are only four stars. So my stats are lacking a fair bit. Um, so that's one of the main sources of the fails. Then, obviously, second, I have the Water Holy Sister. Um, she's got the cleanse, cooldown reduction, the heal, um, the speed buff. She's just awesome, basically. The good thing about her is that this uh, third skill is a five-turn cooldown. Um, and when we move on to the Air Crusader, his third skill, which is um, a turn bar fill and a cooldown reduction, is on a six-turn cooldown. Now, this hurts him a bit, and this is why I've got him on double meditation. Um, because in a standard team, I'll talk a bit more about this later when I go on to using my Earth Seal as well, but with three cooldown reducers that reduce by two, if you have that five turn cooldown, if everyone uses it, they can basically cycle through it every turn. Whereas this guy has to wait that extra turn. That's why I've got him on double meditation, just trying to get his cooldowns uh, down as much as I can. Uh, second skill is a shelter with a big heal as well, so that's awesome. And then I got the haunt for the, um, sorry, uh, the the hunt I, I've been told I, I keep saying haunted for some reason I put an A in there when I read it but it's it's hunted um, so yeah so he's got that um, he's on like I said full meditation just fast and tanky try and get the HP and um, defense up but the thing about these two is I think you'll see that they're on the same speed uh, the 42 the 142 and also my first DPS, which is this guy, is also on 142. I sort of fiddled around with their glyphs to get them all at the exact same speed so that I could test turn orders and stuff like that. Um, I'll talk about that a bit more in a sec, but then obviously we've got my samurai. He's the same as he's always been. The big killer in this team, besides the support units not being tanky enough, is that this guy is not on lifesteal. Um, a combination of him not being able to top himself off when he uses his AOE, and then the support units getting low and healing themselves over him. It's just, they're two problems that compile with my the glyphs I'm using that make the, the runs less successful. Um, and then the last unit is 
the hop, the wind harpy again. Um, once again, in these type of runs, that attack break is really helpful. Um, people, who, once you get much better monsters, you, you know, you start using things like the wind rickshasa. You can get things like the um, the wind shogun. You get that more power where you might be able to burst the boss down before needing that attack break. Um, but for now, where I'm at, what I'm using, uh, especially in these three star teams, she's super helpful with that attack break. So um, we'll go into a run and hope it doesn't fail. But and I'll just show you the the turn order that I've gone with and um, how it, how it basically works. So uh, the way I've put these in is was the samurai first. Um, I'll put them in in the order again, just so you can you can see the order. Just so, in case you didn't know, uh, the order you select the monsters, if they're the same speed, whoever selected first will move first. So that's why I'll go with the samurai, then the holy sister, because I like the holy sister getting reset by the crusader because he also increases the attack bars. So I'd rather everyone get the attack bar increase, um, which is why he goes after her, and then. Um, the remaining two are the water monk and the the harpy so we'll start a run and i'll talk a bit about it so the way i've got it is the monk first then the harpy then the samurai hopefully the monk will use his aoe first up and then the other two use their two aoe's that first wave done really quick um the next turn they'll just use whatever attack they use and then we'll get okay so the sometimes the harpy will do that buff it but then you get those attack, uh, the cooldown reductions by the other two, and now I should have my AOE back up to be able to nuke. Um, and there we go. So that wave's down pretty quick as well. This wave can slow down a little bit because now I've got to wait for the cooldown reduction skills to come off cooldown as well as the other skills. So this this, this round is normally a bit slower. And the thing, I, I still like my other speed team more, the, um, the one that uses the fire capper and the fire nymph because there's you're not waiting on one monster to get that damage so if the monk derps um it's very detrimental because he's got he carries all the damage whereas in the other team you had two monsters to give you a damage increase but here we go there we go that, that's a quick wave as well this is actually a pretty quick run i'm not timing it but um I'll, I'll put it on screen what it is at the end if i don't fail um so there you go Get the attack break onto him, and I get the steel turn bar on the uh, the final, which is great. There we go. Land the attack break again, important. So now I really want my holy sister to cleanse this next run, which will help out a lot. Which she didn't, so I could get a... No, okay, we're right. Because we had that attack break on, it was okay. It just means it's going to be a slower run now, because the boss has got that invincibility. Got to wait for that, so... Um, I'm hoping that my harpy will do her AoE to heal herself up. There we go, and we should be good now. Um, like I said, see how it's really close there? Um, obviously, it's not optimal. The Samurai, if he doesn't get healed, he'll be gone here, um, which is another one which, if he was on lifesteal, he would have been fine in that run. So you'll see in those runs playing in the corner, I'm not sure how many I'll put in there, how much time there is for, but he does lo they do lose often due to him um, just dying straight away. But still, the runs are... Fairly, I feel like they're sort of about 70%. I did a fair few runs uh, earlier today just playing in the background just to see how it went. Not reliable enough for me to continue using this team. Um, like I said, if I fix those couple problems, put the Samurai on the Lifesteal and put the um, maybe even 5-star these other support units and put them on better glyphs, it would be a lot more successful. But especially now, see, I've lost the Samurai. It slows down the run a lot. But that's the basic idea behind it. If you've got better units, you can put them in and see how it goes. And I'm sure it'll work out a lot better if you've got some of those um, better niche sort of nat fours and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this is just painful watching this go this slow because the Samurai is my main source of damage. I do plan on building the Wind uh, Shogun to replace him and try and get it a bit faster. But I'll show you a couple other teams because the fantastic thing about um, the Water Holy Sister and the uh, Crusader, they're both amazing units. Crusader's a great one to use for Arena anyway as your attack bar booster. Holy Sister is fantastic everywhere, so they're not wasted units to build. But the other thing um, I found is, I just did a run before I started recording this, uh, just to see roughly what the times would be. And so as a progression tool, these two units can work really well in a progression team. Um, in What I tested was with the Water Tree, the Earth Felicor, and 
the Wind Assassin. So this team did a, did a run, the one run I timed, um, probably wasn't the fastest run it could do, but it did it in three minutes and 15 seconds. And I'll go quickly show you these, these guys' glyphs, um, just to show you they're not that amazing. So that's the Water Tree, um, that one of those glyphs is level one. That's the Felicor, he's not too amazing either. Um, his speed glyphs aren't powered up at all really. And that's the Assassin and she's really badly glyphed. Um, so with those bad glyphs, um, and like I said, the other the glyphs on the um, Crusader and the Holy Sister aren't fantastic either. It's giving me around a, a three to four minute run, which is fantastic for that progression tool. Um, but then the other big thing when we look at that that team is if you're, I know this is like me and some lucky people, but if you have the, um, where is it? The Earth Zealot, what you can do is you can replace this Harpy with the Earth Zealot and it makes the runs a lot faster. Um, I know it feels like you're losing damage, but like I said, the way the three cooldown reducers recycle through each other's skills and also he gives you a second um, source of that increased damage, um, basically you're deleting the waves really quick because you keep getting the cooldown reduction. And what I then did further for my team, um, which is the new team that I'm running at the moment, is I replaced um, the monk with the dragon because the dragon has the attack bar reduction AOE which also just makes runs really safe and the AOE defense break and because I'm already getting the attack buff I'll just give it a run because I'm getting the attack buff through the zealot already um, I don't have the need for the the monk so you can do this with basically any armor breaker um, that was a very bad start as you can see we didn't use any of the attacks we needed to but there we go they re re they reset all their cooldowns um, now it just basically keeps going through resetting cooldowns and doing that all over again um, but yeah like I said if you have the earth zealot you can actually throw um, any other armor breaker in and just test them out and see what works the best for you um, another important unit in this whole cooldown reduction thing if you have the wind shaman obviously he is amazing he fully resets cooldowns um if you have two of them that's even easy easier to do um if you have the water vampire i used to use the water vampire in my teams uh the one thing with the vampire is that i noticed now um once i took him out of my teams was that he takes so many turns um that he's actually slowing down the runs just in the way he's taking all those turns and slow, like slowing things down because he's taking up so much time with his turns because he'll use his second turn, get another turn, um, and then use his uh, sorry, second, first skill, and then he'll keep doing that. So he's taking two turns every time he moves and not actually doing much effectiveness out of it. So <laughs> the one thing with this team is, if the boss does get that invincibility once, or if on the waves the Harpies put the immortal buff up, uh, the, the run will take forever. You have to actually put it on manual and make sure the dragon doesn't use the attack bar reduction because the cooldowns are getting reset all the time. Um, the dragon will be basically most of the time be using his third skill reducing uh, attack bars and it just ends up in an endless circle. But that's pretty much it. The, um, the combo of the two uh, attack bar reduction, I mean, sorry, the cooldown reduction monsters is a great combo. If you can throw in that third cooldown reduction monster it's just unbelievable because you just your skills are already always available and as long as you've got a aoa nuker that prefers um that optimizes by using his third skill with the ai obviously it's not always perfect um the dragon's a bit different he doesn't prioritize his defense break but the third skill the reduction is fantastic anyway so that's why i use him but it, like i said it works well with the monk as well just a little less reliable because sometimes you do get the derps in the first round of the boss and then you do wipe but um that's pretty much it for this video i know i dragged on a little bit sorry about that guys but um just wanted to get as much information i could out there and um just sort of to help you give give you guys different ideas on what you can work on to try and get into that speed team range but like i said these these two units the holy sister and the crusader also work well with your more supportive type poison units to actually give you faster runs because once again they're reducing the cooldowns getting your poisons up more often and um getting the damage out quicker so thanks for watching another video guys i hope to help and i'll see you in the next one cheers